Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in on this good Sunday. Yeah. Giving you love and marriage, Huntsville Season 3, Episode 8, Sin City Showdown. But yeah. before we go ahead and get into it, on last week for our Queen Sugar Reviews, we debuted that we were wearing shirts from the none other, yeah. Power in Black. If you missed that, you should just go over there and check out the shirts. The shirts are everything. But if you're following us on Instagram, you would have already seen that, right? Right. Yeah, but you know what? They ain't got to really go all the way over there. Hey, the shirt's right here, man. That's the ones we had on. Yeah, so we got the link down in the description so you can save 15% off, man. Just use my code. Yep, code Lynette. <laughs> hey. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Well, let's do the YouTube thing. If you've been over here for a minute, I know you already subscribed. Yeah. I mean, you got to be. It doesn't make any sense to keep coming over to my house. Eating up all my food, drinking up all the Kool-Aid, and, and you're not even a fan of I like pig feet. I eat that skit, too. <laughs> they over here just eating our skit up, ain't saying nothing Come on to now. Us. But if you're new to the channel, and you want a good old barbecue, good fried chicken, <laughs> want some wing dings, the flats, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll hook you up at some point. So this week, the backdrop of it is going to be... Um, Marceau and Tisha's 15th wedding anniversary. I like how they filmed this way back when, but made yeah. it relevant because they just celebrated their 15th year like a couple of weeks ago. So I do like how it kind of plays out in real time, in real, real life, life. Yeah. when it didn't, when they filmed it. I caught that, I caught that. But let's, before we get into that, first scene we have, we have Mel <laughs> doing her video shoot for her song, her song, Telltale signs. She's at her friend's estate, which is a beautiful estate. Oh, that house is nice, man. Yeah, that beautiful nice. estate. Um, she's talking about how she's always loved music. Music is a passion of hers. She's always dreamt of doing things like this, and this is just like the first of many. All right. But um, <laughs> we do know that on every one of these shows, Love and Hip Hops, all of your reality shows, there's always that breakout star that dips and into, dives into, into music, into music yeah, especially, always. and then other things. I'm not mad at people for trying stuff because you got to strike while the iron is hot. Right. But we also got to be realistic and to know that sometimes you're going to be that Kim Zosiak. Yeah, cause <laughs> just know, because you're passionate about something, don't, don't mean it's going to work for you. Yeah, or that you need to be doing that it. That you all the time. Right. <laughs> and it, it's cute. It's a little bop to it, you know what I mean? But... I ain't gonna knock nobody's dreams because I don't want nobody knocking mine. But anyway, <laughs> so later on after they wrapped that up, she was very pleased with how everything went. Um, her team did great. She said that she she know the outcome is gonna be what she needed to be. Blah 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 blah. So then her friend Brittany comes on the scene. So obviously Brittany was taking care of the children at the estate yeah. while she was doing her thing with the crew. So they sit down and they have a dialogue about Martell. <laughs> so evidently, y'all remember when Martel was out there doing his social? Well, when is he not doing yeah, social he media? Yeah, he always rants? on social media. One of many of his social media rants where um, Mel was out doing what she—I mean, living her life—and she had left the children with a babysitter. So he's trying to tell her that she's left the children with someone that only has one child that's not qualified Wild to take care yeah. of four children at one time. All of this. We had no idea that this person is a mutual friend of both of theirs, right? And this woman was highly offended. I know, I would have He was out there putting it out like she was just unfit for the job. Or just unfit to be able to care for children. As if you did not know her. As if you weren't in this lady's company. As if she's a stranger to your children. Right. I would have been offended too. But yeah. here's the thing with Martel. But you are a casualty of war no matter what. <laughs> yeah, but she was trying to kind of make an excuse for what he did was like, you know, I know he was in a bad place at the time. Nah, people people know what they're doing. Whatever place yeah. you had, you you well aware of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. got to stop excusing bad behavior because of the place that people are in. Like I told one of my girlfriends a while back when she fell out. Well, she didn't fall out. Somebody fell out with her and they decided just to tell her everything that they thought about her, how they talked about her weight and this and that and this and I said let me tell you something right there that's the true them that's right mm -hmm. that's the skit they wanted to tell you from the yep. jump it took them being mad at you to reveal it 
So if you decide to be back friends with them, just know that that is their innermost thoughts of you. Yep. And you, leave it at that. Because you only find out who a person truly is when they get squeezed, just like just like a sponge. Yep. You don't know what's in the sponge until it gets squeezed. So when people get squeezed, that's All the true them. them. That's the true them. So yep. I said, beware. And I said, watch them. Oh, that's what they always thought about you, but mm -hmm. just didn't have an opportunity to say it. Now that they're mad, <laughs> you're ugly, uh -huh. your titties lopsided, yep. <laughs> you know? So let's go ahead and talk about black real quick, because I want to get to this Vegas stuff, right? So we're over at Black. Y'all know that Jalen is the GM. The Jalen is stressed out. <laughs> he just got out of college. He's he supposed he to be had living, enough. Yeah, he's he's like, supposed to be living his best life right now. He done said everything, everything but F Black. <laughs> <laughs> and I was waiting for him to yeah. say it. Because I'm like, Jalen, why? But anyway, come to find out, I don't know what the hell is going on at Black. Is this for TV? Is this what's happening in real life? I don't know. But over the holidays, they had like an employee walkout. Yeah. And everybody was like, to hell with y'all. I'm going home and eat my turkey, my dressing, my, <laughs> my chitterlings. We're going we to go eat it all. Yeah. And I'm not going to be here at work. I don't know what that was all about. Is it a management thing? Is it, I don't know. Well, it seemed like they always short staff. Oh, there's a high turnover rate in employment there. And y'all ain't been open long enough for a turnover rate like this. But I can remember back when I used to be in doing that kind of work. When I was, That's when I was in high school. And I've seen cooks walk out. I've seen waiters, bus boys. When the job gets tough and there is no help, people will leave. Yeah, because you don't get paid enough to be doing all of right. that. Right. Yeah. So what um, Jalen is saying is, I have been everything that y'all needed me to be in this business. When they ain't got no cook, I'm back there I'm cooking. cooking. I'm bartending. I'm, I'm waiting on tables. <laughs> I'm greeting people at the door. I'm seating them. And, and all you worry about is a goddamn email. But he wanted to say a god email. <laughs> because Tisha comes in and she was like, did you send out the email for the week or something like that? And he was like, uh, I, I, it's almost I, I, like when your manager comes to you and asks you, did you do the most minute thing after they asked you for overtime? Yeah, after you did all the hard stuff that make, that counts. Well, that is a part of your job. Didn't I just stay here? Didn't I just count $250,000 by hand for you? Did, <laughs> for did, you? That's then he said, y'all knew that we were short staffed and you ain't even coming help. Y'all come in here and act like nothing happening. Now I get it. I get it on both sides. Is as owners, if you are the GM, it's your job to figure it out. But at the same time, are you gonna let your ship go down? Yeah. Because and he's in training. Yeah, and yeah, you same. still haven't gotten him the help that he's yeah. asking for. So which one is it? We can't have it both ways here. Now I am a stickler that the best way to learn is to is, is, is to by throw doing you in it. throw you in the fire by learning. But in that instance right there where they were short staff, jump in. Yeah, somebody needs to. Yeah, somebody needs to help. That ain't training to me. So in the that's middle just, of a fight, just working short. Hey, if we get jumped and Tisha Moss around. They're going to be short staff? They're going to be short staff. <laughs> we just going to have to blast our way out. But they're not going to jump it out. And we're we going to tell them that, that you, we just want you to get you want you to get on the job training. <laughs> we want you to get jumped in the job. Yeah, yeah so Jayla was like, listen, I, I just need y'all to step in and do something. Because y'all a little bit more heads off than I need y'all to be. Where, where's the person that's supposed to be coming in to help Jay Lynn? Oh, we all still waiting on that person. <laughs> I don't know why Jalen got the job as GM to begin with, real talk. Not trying to take nothing away from him. I love when someone gives people a great opportunity because we see the others get opportunities that they not qualified for all the time. I'm not mad at that, but at the same time, we we got to we got to be realistic. Here. Right. That boy needs milk. Yeah, he do. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get off of that. Um, Jalen had even talked about, um, he had brought up to Tisha that, are we okay? We cool? Because I do understand that there's some <laughs> yeah, stuff going on between, between you and, and my moms. And I want to make sure you're not taking it off of, out on her offspring. Over that there. was a valid got darn question. Because if you've been living long enough, you'd have seen some shit like that. Where parents would take out stuff on the kids. Yeah. Because they can't get to the way they want to get to the parent. Yep. Cookouts, oh no, nah, you're not going to eat this. You're going to eat that. Your mom ain't put in on this. I've seen it. Been a, yeah. 
gonna leave that alone. Yeah. All right, we had we we going to Vegas, y'all. 15th year anniversary celebration. We had a whole bunch of couples that flew in together. They on the party bus. Man, that house that they rented for that was house, that, that house, house is nice. That house is real nice. So we have before that. Let me back up a little bit. Maurice ended up going over there to Lewis. Um, establishment. Yeah, I and had a conversation with Lewis. It was like pretty much, I want to dead the conversation that we had back then. I know I came off strong, but it was a strong thing that we were talking about. But I want to make sure that we good from and this that, point on. That the kids are off limits, no yeah. matter what. We they slate is clean, and even that, I talked to my brother. We about to go out there to Vegas. He said y'all can come with if y'all want. <laughs> And Lewis was like, that's what's bet, up. Bet. I'm going to talk to my wife and we're going to be with. I said, mm. But I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, where is that smoke that y'all was talking to? Y'all was out in that cutting that grass. <laughs> last, uh, they said last that ball episode. hit alone. Yeah, that if you had that one drink, it would have been some smoke. That was your opportunity to bring some smoke right yeah, there. Because he was all yogurt and bad with him. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Mm -mm. So, we in Vegas, right? At the house. Almost in... Um, Housewives of Atlanta um, fashion. Go find your room, pick out your room or whatever. But we have Martell there. So, so far, Martell is the only single that's there. You have Maurice and Kimmy. Of course, you have Marceau and Tisha. And you have um, Louis and Tiffany. Then you have Martell. We don't see back, back, back in a couple scenes ago that tag on um, Destiny. Um, and Mel gonna be coming, but they're gonna be coming a day late. Yeah. And I said, I know they're not gonna get this on and popping until they get there. Yeah. I know that it's gonna get to popping when they get there. So they're sitting there, everybody's trying to figure out, you know, day one of a trip is always the exhausting day. Yeah, it you, is. you just yeah. wanna chill out, you wanna just get your footing and wherever you at. Be there tomorrow. We're gonna hit the ground running. So that's how everybody is. Tisha was like, you know, everybody seemed to be enjoying the house right now. So let's just go ahead and put our swimwear on. Let's go out there so by we the water. So we're we gonna drink some shots. We're gonna do some shots. And we're gonna get in the water. I said, <laughs> when I looked at the shots, I said, those are not shots. Those are shooters, first of all. <laughs> when you mix stuff together and make a concoction and put it in a shot glass, that's a shooter. But anyway, so they did a few of them. I looked when um, Maurice and Kimmy was in their room. I seen a little shot yeah, they on the side of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, they go ahead a few of them too. So they out in the kitchen, and that's when the liquor started I'm taking hold. Uh -huh. It started kicking in. And they started joning on each other. And that's what I said. It's about to get real now. Uh -huh. And I love it. I love when they're in that element where they get together. There's no BS. Yeah, they're they just having a good time. Genuine fun. Yeah, they picking yeah. on each other. It's real stuff, but nobody's taking it serious because we friends. We know we don't mean no harm by it. And they get to talking about how <laughs> Marceau was bigger before he moved to Huntsville. He 70 up, pounds bigger. 70 pounds bigger. And then they started getting on Maurice. It was like, like Maurice. You, you were big too. Why are you laughing? You were big too. But you was over there at that <laughs> bucked up marriage. I was like, like, oh. We finally don't got Kiowa to calm, calm down. down. And y'all can really that? like that. Yeah. Even Kimmy was like, that's not nice, y'all. Nah. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. That was like, okay. Was that, like, was, that was probably the liquor. But oh, it was it them. Definitely it was not nah, so we can't blame yeah, the liquor. It, it was them. The liquor only made them tell the truth that was already there. I said, <laughs> oh boy. So they decided, go ahead, let's take this this scene outside. So they outside, still going at it, doing what they gotta do. And all of a sudden, the Kimmy and the side chick thing comes up once again. It came up in the kitchen. But they kind of it went on by this business. But out there by the pool, Kimmy said, listen, I don't have enough of y'all calling me the side chick. I ain't never been yeah. a side chick. I never will be a side chick. And I need y'all to dead this conversation. So here go Marcel talking about something. Well, Mar Martel was the one that told, that told, me told, me it, that that told it when he was in a real evil place right. in his life. <laughs> and so Kimmy was like, Take your mic off, Bartel. Take your mic off, cause I'm about, about to, to push, I'm you, about in to push you in this pool. And he just, he, it's real laughs and jokes or whatever. But Kimmy is serious. I want y'all to stop saying this. Yeah. So she turns <laughs> around to Marso, and Marso is having a kiki of his life about this day going, being the side chick thing. 
And she said, boy, so it's not funny. Stop laughing at it. Stop talking about it. He said, I think it's quite hilarious. <laughs> so she's like, well, it's not funny. Just like you having this side, side baby. baby, it's not funny either. This fool talking about something. Yeah, it is funny. It is funny. <laughs> she said, I don't think Tisha think it's funny because she ain't laughing. So that's when Tisha got in her bag and decided, okay, we're going we to get real serious now. Since you don't brought me into some mess that don't hurt my feelings because I'm sensitive about the topic. Now I'm about to hit you between your eyes with well, some well, Before you take skin. that turn, since we talk about like side pieces and stuff, I think uh, Tish and Mar showed them them being in a threesome because they had a lot of detailed information on how to supposed to work. You come to Vegas, you know, you have a few drinks, yeah. and just things just go down. It ain't supposed you to be planned. Plan. It ain't supposed to be planned. Well, you don't supposed to plan that. But they was talking as if it's done happened. It has and, happened. And, 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 yeah, we giving details on how you're supposed to make it happen. Oh, how They've been in their marriage long enough that they've had these conversations. And like you said, those are the... We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> yes, we are. No, we're not. That skit needs to happen on vacations in other countries where it's a one-time thing. They don't even know your real name. And boom. It's never going to happen again. And no camera set up. Yeah. And you, you bring them to your room because your room is a safe space. Ain't no but, camera. But you need to stop talking because you're going to make them think that we done done it because we be in detail. We already told them we were swingers. Yeah, that was on the other channel. Oh, they don't know? Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. But anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> so they were given um, details about, like he said, details about if the woman is the one who initiates it and brings in somebody into the marriage to have fun with is no, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. It ain't cheating until it's a guy. And then Mar then Martel gonna weigh in <laughs> with his cheating. He said if you don't what he said if you don't know the person or the other, if that person, person doesn't don't know, know it's not cheating. Kim <laughs> <Kimmy> said if <laughs> he's the wrong one to be giving advice. Said somewhere in there he got a little mixed up with yeah. So, right, no, don't listen to nothing he's saying about that yeah. conversation. Yeah, you're the wrong one to weigh in, bro. I was like, Mark, don't. don't. I said, shh. You, you, you be yeah. a student yeah, <laughs> of this right just, now. Just hang on the side of the wall and just listen to them talk. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, back to Tisha. So, this is when Tisha decides, okay, you don't hit me with something, I'm about to hit you with something. And she brings up the fact that my mom said when we were over at the graduation party for the kids, and I had to step away. I was like, why did you step away? But anyway, um, that hmm. you got angry with her and got all in her face, was banging the tables and told her to shut the fuck up. And she was like, I know my, pretty much, I know my mom was a lot, but we ain't never going to talk to nobody's moms like that. Tisha, your mama should have been told to shut the fuck up months ago. Months, long time ago. <laughs> your friend has a, I mean, she is so genuine with not trying to disrespect your family, your mom, none of that. Right. Because real talk, real streets, you come at me crazy, you gonna get crazy. Right. I talk heavier to my family than what, <laughs> than what um, Kimmy talked to your mama. Because if you come at me sideways, I'm coming right back at you sideways. Right. I'm coming in like a dago 757. Boom. Boosh. <laughs> I'm going to give you that crown. <laughs> I'm going to give you that crown. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like, Tisha, you have seen, I mean, you've known your mama your entire life. I was, you know I was how just, she is. Yeah, I was, from that very point, that's why I was shocked that she even brought it up. So you you don't you don't so, think that your mama embellished? So that's why I think, I think that part was part of the script, man. I don't know, because Tisha does do this. And the reason why I say that, because the way that she walked off, and was like, I'm tired of you playing around with my marriage mama saying this and that and this other. So, I don't yeah. know. But like Kimmy said, Kimmy said, so you don't think that your mama gaslighted this any. Like, Wanda says a lot of bucked up stuff. And yes, the word F may have been somewhere in the conversation, but I would never tell your mama to shut the buck up. Yeah. You better me, I would. I sure would. Yeah, she just said, tell me what the F you talking about. Tell and me what the F you talking about. Dead it. Don't talk yeah, about you it. Yeah, don't, don't bring it up. Yeah, so she, she said it, but not said it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and But somebody like me, I would, you would have pushed me to say that to you. Because, ain't no, I mean, after 40, and Kimmy's um, over 40, I'm 43. After 40, 
you don't take nothing from nobody. Nah. Like, you ain't got time. You don't got the time. You don't got the time. You like this. You don't got the time or the energy, man. Mm-mm. Yeah. It, like I said, come, come right to the Like Ray Charles said, give it to me right. You don't want me to take it wrong, <laughs> give it to me right. So then they spiral into, it kind of just brought the energy down a little bit when they were talking about it. So then we get in the conversation of talking about Jalen mm-hmm. in the workplace and how Jalen was being smart and disrespectful in a text message calling um, Tisha, what was he called, a ma'am? Yeah. Ma'am. Or saying ma'am or something like that. And Kimber was like, he wasn't being disrespectful, but Tisha, you have a way of being a smart aid too. So let's just not do this. And I was like, first of all, why are we having the conversation about this grown man yeah. <laughs> that has his own job with his mama on vacation? Like, and, and then Tisha was like, this, this, this. But at the end of the day, you're going to take up for your son, just like my, my mom, mom takes, takes up, up for me. me. So I'm going to be wrong in this situation, and Jayla's going to be right. We're just going to call it like that. And I was like, you see it like that, but do you understand it like that? Because Wanda takes up for you don't matter what. No matter what. Yep. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Yep. And she said, she said, I'm always going to take up for my daughter no matter what. That's not a bad thing, but it yes. is a bad thing when they are when they are in the wrong, yeah. and then vice versa. You hold up your mama, right, wrong, and different, but that's bad when they're wrong because it it reunites them. Yeah, and they just go ahead and keep doing that mess. So yeah, so it looks like next week is when they really gonna get it started. Yeah, I thought this week, them come. Yeah, that's, yeah, I yeah. thought this week was gonna be the one where they just I, really get the turned up. But I'm surprised that they, they invited Montel and Mel, knowing well, exactly. But it's a show. Yeah, I mean it's a show, but yeah, I'm been like, I probably would have been like, nah, we just gonna just take this trip and do this off camera. <laughs> yeah, and then I do wish that um, cause if it was real life, um, Lewis and Tiffany would not be there. Right. Because when you got a got couples going on vacation together, like they said, what happens on vacation stays, stays on, on vacation. vacation. Like the version of us that you see sitting behind this camera is not the version that you that you're gonna yeah. experience on vacation. Everybody ain't ready for it, and everybody ain't equipped to handle it, yeah. and everybody don't need to witness it. You know what I mean? Right. So you got to be careful. Never mind. But gonna... <laughs> well, hey, everybody like that though. Everybody different on vacation, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I don't want everybody in my face. I was like, oh. Yeah, because you don't <laughs> spend money on vacation to be the same person you is while you at home, man. And I tell you all the time. In that case, you might well go and stay at home. And I tell you, Lynette stays home. Somebody else goes on vacation straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty sound. Holla! Ooh.